Good morning everyone. I hope you're all doing all right considering the conditions that we're going through right now. Stick around to the end of this video and I'll let you know how you can get your images into my next week's video. Good morning. Just preparing for a little bit of social isolation here in my new village. Beep. I feel absolutely amazing to have my own place now. Uh, it's been so long. Uh, many of you may not know this, but about it's almost coming up to three years ago now. My girlfriend and I sold our house in Scotland and we went traveling. In the beginning we went to places like Montenegro, we stayed six months in Thailand, we stayed a few months in Malaysia. Um, and then we came back to Europe, spent a bit more time around Europe and back to the UK. And for the last year and a half, we've actually been mostly traveling around the UK um, with a few visits. We've been to Switzerland, we've been to Spain, we've been to Norway. Um, but it's been, it's been constant. You know, a lot of places that we stayed, we stayed for a month or a few months at a time. So it's been really handy and it's allowed me to see a lot of different places, photograph a lot of different wildlife. So I've had, I've had so much fun doing it. But I have missed my own having my own place, my own things where I like them and all that. You know, you do start to miss these things, even though it sounds very nice to be traveling all the time. It does get to be a lot and now I've just missed having my own place. For the last year we've been traveling, we've actually been looking at different places to live and trying to find the perfect location. And two weeks ago we came to this village Beep. in Cairngorms National Park and just absolutely loved it. It is a small village and it's just surrounded by hills with really nice woodlands, nice habitat for wildlife. So there's tons of wildlife, tons of birds here. Um, we got a massive river flowing right next to us um, and some really nice mountains as well. So this has just been the absolute best place and it just ticks all the boxes for us. So as soon as we came, Beep found out this is where we want to live. We started looking for places to rent. Hardly anything was available. We found two places. <laughs> one of them was quite small. Um, and then we found this one. And we didn't actually know about the, we, we weren't too you know, turned on about the uh, coronavirus just then. We didn't know that it was gonna be, get as serious as it is now. Um, so we kind of rushed things and actually moved in way ahead before we actually should. But. Luckily the landlord was really nice and we were allowed to move in quickly. Um, now we're all settled in. We managed to get to our stores, pick up all our stuff, drive back up to and just in case they were going to shut down because it may be that many businesses are not going to be shutting. Yeah, just overall really happy about being here and you're going to be seeing a lot more videos from here from Beep. and the surrounding area in the coming videos. Anyway, New village Beep. I just realized that one of the reasons why I really like this place is because there's hardly anyone here. So I don't actually want anyone to know where it is. Beep! Beep! So, as I was starting this video, I've been setting up some bird feeders in my garden here. Um, I weren't too cons... I'm not considering just now exactly where I'm going to put them. I'm just going to put them up, get birds used to feeding from them and I might actually go out and get some, some bigger branches or something like that to put them up where I, where I want them so that I can kind of take photos from a good location. I'm not sure where that's going to be yet, so I'll start exploring a bit. But I just wanted to get the feeders up and get that started so that if it comes to it, if we have to isolate anymore, I can still be able to take photos of wildlife. That brings me to what I wanted to share with you guys and I wanted to put on a little kind of online event that everybody could participate and basically the video I'm going to share next week is going to be all about you guys. In light of the coronavirus that's happening right now and more and more people has to have to go into isolation, some people have to be in quarantine, so I wanted to put on something that everybody can participate in even if you are in isolation or quarantine and that is basically 
taking photos of a specific family of birds that I think is very undervalued and underappreciated, and that is the corvids. Now the great thing about corvids is they are so they're such opportunists. They're very adaptable, and you can find them pretty much anywhere on Earth except for the poles and maybe the tip of South America. Uh, but they're pretty much everywhere in the world has some species of the corvid family represented, and. They're also so adaptive that you get them everywhere. Even if you're in the middle of a town and you don't have a garden to put up feeders like this, you can probably still photograph out a window to try and get photos of a corvid. So if you want to participate in this, I want you to take photos of the corvids. And if you don't know, the corvids are the crow family and everything from ravens to rooks to the common crows, jackdaws, even nutcrackers and jays are in the corvid family. I think they're quite, they're quite an under, underrated species um, to everyone, but even to photographers, I feel like it's a forgotten one. So I want you guys to get the best photos you can of these corvids, of these crows, and I'm gonna share my favorites in a YouTube video next weekend. So to join in on this, I want you to be sharing photos of corvids on social media. And to do this, you can follow me on Instagram at AspenHelland, and I want you to use the hashtag Corvid, not COVID. Be sure to tag me at Aspen Highland in the image so that I know that you don't mind me sharing it in a video. Use the caption to really to try and tell a story, like either how you took it, um, are you taking it from your home, are you in isolation, how are you getting through this. Um, just a little bit of context because I think that has a lot to do with how we interpret this image. I will pick my favorites out of the photos and people have written an interesting caption of how they're experiencing this whole thing. And be sure to check out the hashtag and you know comment, engage with the other people who are taking part in this event. Now, if you don't have Instagram, you can you can post on Twitter uh, and tag me there. And my Twitter handle is I don't use it that often, but I will check it. It is at espenhelland7. I'm pretty sure I'll double check that and I'll put it in the screen here uh, just to make sure. Uh, if you don't have Twitter as well, you could always tag me. Uh, at Espen Helen Photography on Facebook. Well, that's it. You gotta have one of those three, otherwise you can't partake. So, I think it'd be really cool if people don't uh, post old images, but actually try this week ahead uh, to get new images of crows. And if that's from your house, if that's you know, if you if you're in a place where you're lucky enough to still be able to go out, or it's not um, where it's not affecting that area, cool. Then you know, get the best photos you can. But um, if, you're in a, if you're isolated, if you're in quarantine or something like that, and you're taking photos from the house, be sure to you know, write about that in the caption. Um, so it'd be really cool to hear you guys' story. And I'll be sharing some of my favorites next weekend. So deadline for this will be next Friday, let's say 12 o'clock, midday next Friday, 12 o'clock UK time, whatever that's gonna be. I'm gonna be editing a video after that. So please do, you know, share as many as you want, um, take as many photos as you want, tag me in them, use the hashtag Corvid, not COVID. And best of luck to everyone. And I hope that a lot of you guys will take part. I think it'd be a really fun thing. It'd be really cool. And especially in a time like this, um, that everybody's going through some, probably some rough times. Best of luck to everyone. And I will share your images next week. And don't forget that I do have, I have set up a Patreon site and that's all about improving as a wildlife photographer and it's a beginner to intermediate. We go through th everything from the technical in camera to composition, everything we put in the frame and also field skills about finding wildlife and how to get close to wildlife. Now I'm adding on to this on a weekly basis. Now if you do sign up now and you're among the 21st people to sign up, you will also get a critique of your portfolio in a personalized video sent to you. So. I'll put a link to that below, check it out. Now, if it's for you, it'd be awesome to have you there. Sign up, you can always cancel at any time. If it's not for you, totally okay. I really appreciate you guys following along on YouTube. Beep. Crows. I've been in your